Hi, EQ Guy here. I am standing in front of the estate of uh, Ken Hendricks, and the reason I'm here today is because all of these trees here are dead. I'm calling this the Global Warming Epicenter. This used to be, one time this was Ken Hendricks, and the, of the ABC Supply uh, fame, and um, these trees is this uh, lot uh, and this fence goes all the way up to the corner. This is like a mile with dead trees. All you can cl clearly see these first uh, dozen trees are dead. There's another like 25 or 50 across the other side of the pond. All the way up as far as you can see. Now it's not, of course you can see uh, trees here. A lot of them uh, still alive, but I'm going to say about half dead all the way up. Uh, we seem to have uh, some kind of an algae problem here too with Kenny's uh, pond. To my right is uh, one of them brand new natural gas power plants. Okay, algae, dead trees. Uh, I'm calling this the global warming epicenter. It looks like this is the beginning of the end of the world. You will be able to check all this out throughout the summer of 2016 and beyond until at some point they might need to cut all these trees down. But for now, stop by Afton, Wisconsin and check out the hundreds of dead trees all around the Hendricks estate. It's really spooky. It reminds me of the epicenter of the end of the world. I don't know what all the trees are dying from, definitely, but they need uh, to take a look at it. It's going to cost hundreds of thousands of dollars to cut uh, the trees that need to be cut, and then uh, it's hard to tell if uh, replacements will grow. This shot here caught my attention as I was driving away. That looks like that is all dead trees on both sides of them two ponds there. And these are trees in the foreground are half dead. Half of them are. A few of them are still alive. But that one there and all of these, this whole entire row right in front of me are clearly dead as well as a lot of these trees right here. A lot of those are dead trees too. The global warming epicenter. I am standing in front of the Hendricks estate. October 1st, 2015 could be the beginning of the end of the world. It looks, this shot here, I can even zoom in here, it looks like this is the beginning of the end of the world. EQ guy one more time saying thank you or is it global warming dude saying thank you for watching.